What's up guys, Tool here. So I haven't been posting up any vids lately due to the fact that Grand Theft Auto 5 came out not that long ago and I've been usually on my main FK Dagonoff Kings, I mean Dagonoffs, not Dagonoff Kings, Dagonoffs, uh, getting Crimson Charms just for the fact that I want to get 96 summoning on my main and I'm almost there, I need 12k more charms. So I'm almost there, uh, wait actually I need 11k charms, uh, which shouldn't take me a lot a long time and it shouldn't take me a lot of cash anyways so back to the topic i'm gonna talk about so i logged in today uh, i was about to go do like what i was gonna do i was about to go collect charms and i seen this new update that they added into the game so this update is well not an update but an item that is an item called bonds that you could buy through uh the solomon store well, not solomon store you could buy like when you i don't know how the fuck you buy it just because i didn't check but point being you could buy this item with real life money uh, it costs us five dollars USD, or uh, I'm at USD. I don't know how much money is that in uh, what's it called UK. I don't know how many pounds or whatever. Uh, but anyways, you could buy this item, and you have options, a uh, few options that you could do with it. You could either turn it into 14 days of membership, which is not worth it. Might as well spend eight dollars and get 30 days. You could turn it into eight spins, not worth it either. I don't think it's worth it. You could. Uh, Turn it into a hundred and something room coins, which is not worth it. The only re the only thing you could actually do with it, and I think it's worth, is if you sell it to the Grand Exchange, and you could get cash. You get cash for it. So pretty much what Jagex did here is they're selling their own gold in their own way. Uh, through it's safe, you won't get banned for it, and uh, that's pretty much it. So my thoughts on it is good or bad. It's good in in some uh, like in some aspect. Uh, just for the fact that, let's say I run out of membership, uh, I'm running out of membership. I only have like few days left, and I have 20 mil on my money, uh, my money punch, which I don't right now. I have one mil. Uh, let's say I have 20 mil. I'm like fuck. I'm running out of membership. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go to the GE, buy a bond uh, for 15 mil, and get 14 days of membership, uh, just like that. And I don't have to worry for 14 days. And that could help me out. That could help a lot of people out. That could help feeder players. Uh, that could even actually help. You could actually help another friend with that. Uh, for example, I buy one and I gift it to a friend. I'm like, dude, you're run, about, to run, uh, about to run out of membership. Here, you know, take this. Uh, renew your membership or do whatever the hell you want with it. Or let's say I want to give someone money. Uh, instead of giving them coins, you could either buy that. You could buy that and be like, dude, uh, you know what? Happy birthday, Merry Christmas, Happy Halloween, whatever, and give him the bond, and they could turn it into gold, coins, gold. They could turn it into rune coins, spins, whatever they want. And you're like, that's this is you, this are you. But what is kind of bad uh, is for the fact that people like me on my main uh, money ma money making for me is not a, a, a like what to say. It. It's not hard for me. It's it's kind of easy to make me. I'm, uh, fuck me. It's kind of easy for me to make money. Um, so it, it's kind of like I don't know. I'm kind of. I don't know how to actually think about it. I mean, I don't know how to actually describe what I feel. Just for the fact that I could be working super hard making my own money, and let's say. Uh, I could be working super hard to make my money, but this guy is over here. He has like full Torva and uh, he has dry gorse and he has a P hat set or whatever and um, he I asked him oh, how you make your money uh, he's gonna be like oh I bought I bought this and this how many bonds uh, and I'm like what the fuck you know I'm working my ass over here for what do you have and yet you just spent our own money uh, and get it quick like I don't know I guess it's good or I guess it's bad. I don't know. That's the only uh, the only downside I see of it. Uh, now you're gonna see a lot of more people with. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of people with a lot of more cash around, and uh, yeah. So I guess it's good in that. Like it's good in the way I said it first, not the second way. I'm kind of like country. I don't know. I'm. It's two two sides of it that I'm going for it and against it, but another good thing that I think it's kind of good it's the fact that they're doing this to stop gold farmers which if gold farmers don't make stop making business they're gonna stop bots 
so they're gonna stop botting because they they can't they can't sell money anymore to people just for the fact that uh, Rootscape Jagex is selling gold to us uh, in a safe and non scammable scammable way, non bandable and shit like that. So that could happen, but I don't think they they should they should have come up with this update. They should have just they should keep working. Uh, a way to st put this. Oh, my thoughts on it. A way to uh, my thought on a way to stop gold farming is by deactivating uh, what's called deactivating bots, like an instant bot detector. Cause an uh, instant bot detector. Not too long ago, I was going to Frost Dragons on my main, and I was there in in weird world. I was in the world, some random world. I forgot what world was I. And I seen a couple bots. I seen like four bots at Frost Dragons, and I was like, "What the fuck? Bots are back!" And it is kind of sad to see them back. And uh, I don't know. I'm kind of I don't know. It is kind of sad to see them back. I thought they Jags would have done a better job by stopping bots completely. But I think that they should definitely work on on like bot detectors to detect them much faster or whatever. I don't know, I'm just rambling off, I don't really know what to say. But anyways guys, this bond update, I guess, to sum it up, it, it is good for people and it is bad for other people. Um, you, if you guys are running a low on cash, you guys need money, there it is, five bucks you spend. Uh, and you guys could spend just five bucks and get like 15 mil. Uh, you do need to, uh, what's it called, you, need, you do need to, to convert it. When you when you buy the item, it's untradeable, and to convert it to tradable, uh, it charges you ten percent. So like one point one point something mil, they charge you to make it tradable. Uh, so that's a money sink, I guess. It's good, just so like not a lot of cash would be coming in, and there's a money sink there. So I guess it's good. Uh, I don't know. I don't really care. Just for the fact that I'm not gonna be spending money on bonds. Unless I really need membership, which I I don't need membership at the moment, I would prefer to just save eight dollars and um, buy the membership. Or let's say I don't have cash in RL and I can get cash, uh, and I have like twenty mil stack, like I said, I might just go buy one bond to to renew my membership for fourteen days. Uh, I might do that. I don't know. But anyways, guys, uh, this is pretty much it. This bonds update. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and if you will be purchasing one. If not. And yeah, uh, I rambled off. I really, know, I didn't really stay on topic. Or I didn't really stay my thoughts out just because I haven't been doing this for I haven't I haven't been doing this for a while. So I'm like rusty to it. And this commentary might be bad. And uh, whatever, guys. So it was too old, guys. Uh, make sure to have a good day. And uh, peace out. Much love.